Now, it was just last year we received Sonic's latest 3D adventure in Sonic Frontiers, and just a little over half a year later, Sega is back at it again, taking our favorite Blue Hedgehog back to his 2D roots with Sonic Superstars. And here to talk to us about it is Sonic Creative Officer Takashi Azuka and translating for Azuka-san, Senior Director at Sega of America, Austin Keys. Thank you all so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Now, my first question is, uh, what was the inspiration behind Sonic Superstars? A lot of the inspiration came back was when we were in development looking at, you know, the Sonic Mania and then Sonic Origins came out. We wanted something that really hit on that 2D gaming uh, element, but we wanted to make it something that was going to be more current and in the now. So we took that 2D classic gaming structure and started creating a game that really hit on all of those, uh, you know, classic moments, the classic gameplay, but brought it into something current that could stand right next to Sonic Frontiers, which is also the current 3D version of Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, uh, what can you tell us about the story of Sonic Superstars? Yeah, we are taking this back to the roots of the classic Sonic formula, and I can't talk that much about the story of Sonic Superstars, but I can say that the storytelling that we're going to do is similar to that classic uh, version of the game. So we don't have voiceover, we, don't, we aren't making people read a lot of text in order to understand the story. We're going down even further into the roots and we're using that classic storytelling technique of just using the characters as superstars and kind of how they're running around in the world and how they're doing battle against Eggman and all that is being told in that classic formula of storytelling. What is it about this particular game that sets it apart from its predecessors? The biggest difference between this current version of the classic Sonic game and the current like versions of 3D Sonic games, uh, we really make Sonic Frontiers to be a game that gamers are going to be able to jump into, get into the deep gameplay, play for a long time and really have a lot of fun as a, as a gamer. But we wanted to do something different for Sonic Superstars and take that classic gameplay formula and present a game where you can have the whole family come in and join. It's very easy, open for all ages, to just jump in, play the game, understand it, have fun, have other people play with you, and really have a good time together. Now, you mentioned playing with the family and friends. Uh, so what, what can you tell us about multiplayer and co-op? So yeah, when we were developing the game, you know, Sonic Superstars, it's all about our superstar characters, Sonic, Tails, Amy and Knuckles, and Amy's going to be playable uh, in this game. We wanted to bring those superstars into the game and have you be able to play cooperatively with each other with our superstars. Now, of course, you know, Eggman is like the big baddie uh, in the Sonic uh, universe, and I'm, I'm assuming we're, we're definitely going to see him show up in Superstars. Um, but are there any other villains that we could also expect? Or is that, you can't really tell me? I'll, I'll let you translate this. <laughs> So yes, Eggman is the villain of this story, but what's going to be new and interesting is Eggman has actually hired or employed Fang, which some people may know and remember from uh, some of our older games. But yes, Eggman has hired Fang to kind of take over the island together as a team. And what Fang has done, he's even gone out uh, on the island and found another character, Trip who they're going to join forces, and the three of them are now like the, the evil group that's going to be working against Sonic and the Superstars. The combat system in Sonic Frontiers is really extensive. I'm kind of curious, what, what are we looking at with Superstars, like a, a, you know, as in regards to the platforming and the combat system? One of the things we wanted to do is make sure we really had the roots of that classic gameplay solid. The very first thing the team did was went and replicated that classic gameplay down very precisely. So when you're playing Sonic Superstars, you're running, you're jumping, you're getting into a ball, you're defeating enemies and you're continuing forward. So once they had that fundamental base created, they went in and said, we need now character-specific actions. We need Tails to be able to fly. Knuckles needs to glide and be able to climb. Uh, Amy needs to be able to use her hammer. So they went in after that base was created and started putting in the character's unique actions. So we have seven Chaos Emeralds uh, that are in this game. Uh, can you tell us what happens when you uh, actually obtain the, the Emeralds? Yes. 
あのソニックゲームですと、まあ、so、I think we know before in classic Sonic games when you got all seven of the Chaos Emeralds or when you got all of the Chaos Emeralds you could turn into Super Sonic in this game we have something a little bit different when you get a Chaos Emerald each of the Chaos Emeralds are going to have their own unique Emerald powers so As you're playing the game and as you're collecting these emeralds, you're going to want to you know, get the emeralds because you also have these unique abilities you can use in the game. Some of these abilities may be、uh, able to create many different avatars of your character, and those avatars will come on screen and help defeat all the enemies. There's other Chaos、uh, Emerald powers where you can turn into this liquidy water form, and because you're also part of water, you can go. Into a waterfall and maybe swim up the waterfall as your water powered self. So there's lots of unique、uh, abilities that you'll be able to have by getting the Chaos Emeralds, and it's something very unique to this game, not done in the other classic series titles. This is amazing. We've never seen anything <laughs> like this in any Sonic game, so I'm kind of curious do each of the Emeralds affect、uh, the characters differently, or is it like similar effects to, across the board? I know. Yes, all of the powers are tied to the emerald. These are the emerald powers. So as you receive the, as you get these emeralds, you have that ability for any of the characters you play with. So if you're playing with Tails or Knuckles as well, you can also turn into the, the water form and use the same abilities that Sonic has. So I'm kind of curious, like, what inspired you all to kind of like give the emeralds different powers? So, the inspiration actually came from inside of our own titles.、Uh, I think a lot of the inspiration came from、uh, Sonic Colors and the color powers that, in a modern Sonic game, that's what they wanted to do in order to give Sonic new abilities and be able to make a world in a zone that's different, that can be navigated differently, either with the laser or you know, with the other color powers. But they wanted to take that kind of Idea and digest that and say, if we're making a classic Sonic game, what are the powers we can give classic Sonic? How can we give classic Sonic those powers and how can those actions and powers actually help make it easier for classic Sonic to get around? And then here's the new level design that we can create because we have these abilities. We have a, you know, if it was a color power, it was a drill that could get to a place that usually modern Sonic couldn't get to. But these new、uh, chaos, these emerald powers. Because we have these emerald powers, we can have Classic Sonic and the other classic superstars get around and navigate the world differently. Now, of course,、uh, we have to talk about the graphics. It seems you all have fully embraced the 3D aesthetic,、um, which is popular today.、Um, kind of, how, how are you able to kind of mel melt that with、uh, the old 16 bit days? Because, like, we've advanced pretty far beyond the Genesis and the Game Gear with our current gen consoles. あのまあ、まずはあのグラフィックがきれいになるというのは当たり前ですよね。でそれと、It is that 2D classic Sonic game, but because we're using 3D models to create the world and the characters, we're able to do things inside of that 2D gameplay formula that we couldn't have done before. So sometimes it's going to be sending the character、uh, back further into the world. Maybe it's going to be turning the character, spinning the character in a way that we couldn't really do with the classic、uh, look and the pixel art. Uh, or it could be a boss battle that we're going to have in this kind of 3D space. There's all these things we can do because we have 3D models. Even though we have a 2D game style and a game format, we're able to play around and do things that the classic Genesis and Game Gear titles couldn't do. From what we've seen, it looks like we're going to be getting a lot of, of new、uh, levels and worlds for Sonic and his friends to play in. But for like, the hardcore fans,、mm -hmm. can we expect any of like, the, the classic、uh, worlds to return? Like Green Hill Zone. Like, I'm a huge fan of Green Hill Zone. <laughs> What we wanted to do with Sonic Superstars is really create something new and go in there and create the, these brand new islands that you get to explore as Sonic. For Sonic Superstars, we wanted to take Sonic to brand new North Star Islands and have Sonic run around in this new environment. So we wanted to make brand new places for Sonic to go、uh, in this new title. Last question I have to ask because music is very important to the Sonic series. Kind of curious, what type of jams are we going to be、uh, listening to in this game? So, this is a classic Sonic. So, yeah, the classic Sonic music has always had this real fun pop vibe to it. And we wanted to stay true to the roots with a classic series and go and create some new, you know, great new music for Sonic Superstars. 
So what we did is actually we're working with Jun Seno Ue, who is the music director on Sonic 3, uh, and he's also worked on Sonic Mania. But we're using Jun, and he's partnering with other people who also worked on Sonic Mania music and creating this new kind of sound and this new music that's going to be, perf be a perfect fit for a classic Sonic game. Lots of fun, lots of pop. Sounds like a lot of fun. Honestly, I cannot wait. Azuka-san, Austin, thank you all so much uh, for filling us in on Sonic Superstars. And before they leave, I'm going to have them sign this, this compendium <laughs> here. Azuka-san, if you will do me the honors of signing this. Yeah, sure. There you go. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Azuka-san. <laughs> Look at this, this is so amazing. Azuka-san, Austin Keys, thank you all so much for telling us a bit more about Sonic Superstars. And of course, you can expect Sonic Superstars to release later this fall across all platforms. And we'll of course keep you posted throughout the months to come. IGN Summer of Gaming continues.